How do you make a nearly perfect drone even better? You update the firmware, of course. Coming up next on the channel. Hey guys, it's Chad and welcome back to the RC Models and 3D Printing channel. And as you can see, I've been pretty busy working on this awesome mini Drac FPV plane that I've had for about three or four months and just kind of got sidetracked and tired of building and all that kind of stuff. And I persevered and put it together and I am getting ready to maiden this this weekend so get ready to see a little bit of maiden footage documented by the DJI Spark it's either going to be really good or it's going to go really bad um, everything should go good fingers crossed but there's definitely a high probability that when I throw this thing up into the air it's going to come crashing straight nose down and probably breaking a camera or maybe something in half. So, hey, if you want to see that, that video will be coming up soon. But what we're here to talk about today is the 1.03.1 thousand firmware update for the Mavic Pro. Now, this is the 12th firmware update since the Mavic has come out. A lot of people are still buying Mavics. So this might be your first, maybe your second firmware update. Now this firmware update doesn't really add a lot of features. There's some bug fixes and things like that included into there. It's also an update for the DJI goggles if you have those. And a lot of that functionality for the goggle update is carried over into the Spark. And also the Phantom 4 it says. Um, they've optimized the audio quality on the goggles, and they have also added um, a signal strength indicator for your remote control, which is uh, pretty cool. I actually didn't even realize that I didn't have that. Now, now the biggest thing that is in this changelog is the very last change, which says improved image quality. If you subscribe and watch a lot of the different YouTubers out there, you may have seen this already. If not, uh, Billy Kyle put out a video. He's, you know, three, four, five times the size of my channel. Lots of subscribers, lots of views. The kid does a really great job. But he showed an indoor image of the difference in the video quality. And basically what has happened, it seems, is that DJI has improved the white balance and the image overall brightness and tone that you get straight out of the camera without any kind of manipulation to your exposure or white balance in any post-processing. Some of you may know I don't have a Mavic right now because I did lose mine in an accident. First DJI drone accident ever, whatever water under the bridge but the thing that I always noticed about my Mavic especially when I was trying to get really smooth footage using ND filters was that I could never quite get that shutter speed and that ND filter stop just where it needed to be it seems like I always needed to be here but I always fell in between um, just with the tone and the brightness and the balance and I would always have to do correction to my videos post-processing which was kinda I felt unnecessary um, this firmware update actually looks to have solved that issue now obviously you're still gonna have to do some post-processing if you want your videos to look the best that they absolutely can but this is a step in the right direction because getting the, the raw that 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 just raw goodness of ones and zeros and megabytes and all that stuff from the start is just the key to getting awesome crispy smooth video 
in the end process. So I'm really looking forward to seeing some actual outdoor live video to see how this firmware update does that. Chances are I probably won't get another Mavic because I know Mavic 2 is probably just around the corner in a couple months. I still think the Mavic Pro is the most is the perfect drone out there. Obviously the Phantom 4 Pro shoots a lot better in 4K in the 60 frames per second if that's your flavor, but the Mavic at 2.7K at 30 frames a second is just great video and this should make it better. So in case you guys don't know or you're against firmware updates or you're just not really pleased with the overall image quality that you're getting out of your Mavic, um, upload this firmware, try it out. You can always roll back. This firmware is not, it's important fact here, this firmware is not related to the Spark firmware that I did a video on a couple days ago that will actually ground you if you do not update. You had to, you have to update the Spark or after September 1st, you'll be grounded because it fixes a serious issue that causes the Spark to possibly crash. So it's not tied to that. You don't have to update your firmware on your Mavic if you're happy with it. You know, there's really not much here that you're going to want, that you're even going to need to use. So I always encourage firmware updates, especially knowing that DJI customer support is always going to ask you if you are on the most current firmware update that's available, if you have any problems before they will service you. And they might try to give you some grief if you don't have the current stuff on there. So that's an important consideration, a gamble, a risk, however you want to look at it before uh, you think about not installing these updates. So that's it guys, just a quick video and update about what's going on in the DJI world. Just because I don't have a Mavic anymore doesn't mean that I don't follow all the groups and everything else. I just can't put it out to test and do all that kind of cool stuff. But I know there's going to be a lot of people that do. If I see some really interesting uh, comparison shots or clips from other people, I will get them uh, linked here on the channel so you can check them out yourselves. Till next time, guys. See you later.